sex after a baby. I thought I was a little bit more active while I was pregnant. Oh God, no. I didn't know if my vagina looked normal, quote unquote. He told me to say that yeah, sex was really hard because it's so big. <laughs> I think the biggest question I had for my friends being pregnant and them not having children was, do you still have sex? So yes, pregnancy, sex, it felt different, it was more um, sensitive. Your womb anything. feels kind of shorter, doesn't it? Because that's when they think yeah. about the touching the baby's head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I thought I was a little bit more active while I was pregnant. Really? Like I wanted it more. But then as soon as I had him, I never, ever, <laughs> ever wanted that again. How long did you wait until after you'd... Uh, but I think it were a couple of weeks. I hated it. She's going like this at the minute. Because <laughs> it was the most awfulest experience of my life the first time I did it really? after I bit. Did you ask the question, like, does it feel the same? That was the first thing I asked. No, I just told him to get off me. I just felt like I just shut down straight yeah. away like I didn't want to do it. When did your libido come back? I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Five years. <laughs> well, I don't even remember the first time we had sex. I think he was on a sex ban for about three years. I'd had loads of examinations in pregnancy. There's a lot of poking and prodding and desexualizing of your vagina. And when I was younger, I was trying to have like cute sex, like porn sex, like do it yeah, this angle and your... look the right way. And sex after a baby was a process. My body felt different. It was different. I didn't value my vagina before I had a baby. But now now, now it's all about feeling. I'm not being funny, but I do it better for myself. No, my sex life got a lot better after I had a baby. I'm so, yeah, yeah, 10 times better. Then I started dating girls after I became a single mum. Did you? And seeing another woman's body and learning it in that way, revolutionised <laughs> my <laughs> life. It was the best thing ever. To have a woman trick me right and do me even better, honey. <laughs> like, girls know what they're doing. How's, how's the love life going? Love life. <laughs> As weak as my signal on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of non-existent. People see me as being quite picky, but I'm not picky. You're a mum. Whoever you date, if you date someone seriously, is also going to be around your grown-up kids. Yeah. I think now we're at this yeah. age, we realise time's too precious. Sex just isn't sex. There's more and to it. And it's just about relationships. My kid literally didn't sleep more than an hour and a half until he was 18 months, mm. so there was no private time, no sexy time between yeah. us. Like, that was just all out the window. My husband always jokes that it's my kid at the top, then my dog, and then probably the Fox family in the garden, and then him. Yeah. <laughs> Even scheduling time to have sex is like, <laughs> when are we scheduling doing this? <laughs> we have to actually schedule a date night, and then it might happen. We usually have one at Christmas, so yeah. <laughs> Imagine being caught, oh my gosh, I've been mortified. Usually as well, like, Kids get into a routine on a Saturday and Sunday, the first thing they do is go and have their breakfast, go downstairs and put the TV on, so that is like your perfect opportunity. Never being caught out doing it, or maybe we just don't do it often enough, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>